144, that's for six seconds. And you notice he's not doing anything. And that's because we have to tell it to use image sequence, um, or your image is sequential, sequentially uh, for it to actually see the animation. So we're going over to File Attributes. And about halfway down, um, you'll see three selections. Use BOT, Disable File Load, and Use Image Sequence. And we're going to click on Use Image Sequence. All right, and that should allow us, as you can tell, Sam here is actually already moved from his uh, original position that we started at because um, I left the keyframe on, I think it's 46, and so it immediately jumped to 46. What we're going to do here is move it, and you can see, there you go, Sam is moving along and blah, blah, blah. There we go. Okay, and let's see here. And that's it. All you have to do is uh, render it out and you've got your image sequence or your you know, MOV file in Maya. Simple as that. I'm going to show you why I used a flat piece of geometry uh, with no geometry, um, no edges running through it, uh, no vertices except the four, four edges, four vertices on each corner, and one face, so you don't have to worry about UVs. I do really quick thingy here, go to Lambert, go to color, click on, the, click on the checker box, hit checker as its color, and another way to get an image onto your, to your geometry is center click on the Lambert, drag it right on top of your geometry. And you can tell um, what UVs there are, they're, they're laid out perfectly because the UVs uh, at this point are um, in line with our vertices, which are square, so you'll get a nice, nice uh, square um, UV, a nice even layout for your image. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to let's see, edit mesh, insert edge loop, and I'm going to insert some edge, lo edge loops in uh, on my plane. And at the moment, it shouldn't really do anything because all the UVs are still lined up. It's not going to do anything horrible. Okay, and I'm just going to go and select vertices, select a vertice, hit W, and move. And there we go. That's all screwed up. It's looking horrible. Let's see how teleporting Sam looks on it now. So, right click, go to object mode, and select it. Right click on Lambert 12, which is holding our uh, image sequence, and Sam isn't looking too good right now. No, he's not. Okay, and even if you know, see they're they're raised up past um, uh, past the horizontal level. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix the the UVs. So even if if our uh, UVs are screwed up and our vertices are laid out in a very awkward position, let's go to shading and smooth shade all six, and we can see. Um, the image. Now, the cool thing is, uh, six. It brings up your image. You can see whatever texture and stuff on here. Five is just your flat default gray image. Four is your wireframe. So keep it on six. And what we're going to do is we're going to go up to create UVs, and we're going to click down, and we can use planar mapping. That should work. these out of the way. Click object mode, select the plane, Lambert, right click, assign to material, and there you go. Fixed UVs are all fixed. Now another thing that you can do is actually let's get out of there, get Sim looking ugly again. Okay, and another another route you can go, uh, which is if you have something at a really cockeyed angle. Um, you can use the camera to set your UVs, or to, to map out your UVs. So you can create UV, and create UVs based on camera. Let's go click over here. And I'm going to leave my camera at this really odd angle so you can see what I'm talking about. And just hit apply. There you go. And you can see he's stretched out. But if I go back down to the angle that I was in, Sam looks 
relatively normally in shape, except he's kind of cut off. And that's because, let's get that lined up there, eh, somewhere around there. And that's because the uh, uh, UVs were laid out perpendicular to the angle of the camera. So if you wanted to do it with the uh, camera, you'd have to um, want it flat onto the plane. You'd have to go to the top view, hit Create UVs, Create Based on Camera. Make sure I select. Create UVs based on camera. There we go. And Sam's back. Now, the using the UVs for the camera set, of course, I'm going to be going off into UVs now, um, is really good when you're uh, mapping out UVs at different angles and wanting to separate um, different pieces. But I, I think I'll save that for another another tutorial because I can go off on another 15 minutes about that. Um, so that's that. And actually, if you want to, let's go on over here into After Effects again. Go back. We're back in After Effects. And let's say you don't want um, the black lines in the top and the bottom. And you want to, um, for many, many reasons there are, you want to keep um, your image sequence the same size as um, your actual image sequence. You don't want to make it square for, uh, for some reason. You don't want to screw around with your geometry, whatever. But you just don't want these. You, you want your image sequence to be the exact size of your image sequence. You don't want to uh, modify it any any sort. So let's start a new one. Go to teleport, bring it down into the little film strip. Create another one in composition settings. It's set at 720 by 480. And the aspect ratio is 3 to 2. So what you're going to have to do here is do a tad bit of math. And this is the fun part. If you don't like math, um, tough shit, you're going to have to do it. Let me grab a piece of paper in here so I can remember I've got a bad memory. So, Okay, it's 3, 2, and 720 by 480. All right, and just remember that. And we're going to go over here, and we're going to send out this image sequence. I'm going to have to put it in another file. Okay, it's it's got another file name. Yeah, go over lossless. Format, target sequence, OK. And teleport target, yes. And we want a period to separate the name and the, f and the uh, sequence of files. So image sequence, there you go. And I actually output to, well, that's what I did is I went to output to custom, and I created my own uh, extension for my image sequence, which is a composition name, the sequence numbers, and file extension separated by dots. Um, so all I have to do is just go down to output to click on my my image sequence and I'm all set and ready to go. Okay, so that's all set and yeah let's let's create that's gonna be a pain in the butt. Let me just create another file and teleport two hey I spelled teleport right. Excellent. Save and render and give it a few more seconds. <laughs>